Um, the population of Columbia is right around 130. Um, and then we draw from the surrounding area. And probably overall, we probably draw from a quarter million people. Um, the culture in our office is fairly laid back. Um, we have a 14 out practice and we all kind of take turns traveling to the satellite offices. So it's a pretty big group, um, but we're all very connected, friendly, and um, one of the things that we do that kind of sets us apart is that I think everybody has morning meetings, but when you have a morning meeting and there are 45 or 50 of us, um, it's pretty raucous and fun and that's the way we start every day. Oh, I've been um, kind of following Dr. Dunlop online uh, through Facebook, et cetera, for a couple of years now, and I wasn't quite ready to pull the trigger. Um, I thought I needed more background so I could make the most out of his course and finally thought, you know what, it's time. Um, we had been doing an alternate technique that was completely analog. So we were doing implants, placing full arch restorations, but it was all completely analog. And I knew that uh, Dr. Dunlop had kind of pioneered some of the techniques for bringing the analog digital and providing these restorations not only more predictably, but also faster. Um, I brought my clinical coordinator um, and he has a big hand in a lot of our digital design. Even though it is analog in our office, we are using um, digital software. Um, just the process between the digital software and the patient is analog. So I brought him because he's kind of our resident expert on, on all things uh, 3D design. And I also brought uh, a front office team member to kind of glean from uh, Dr. Dunlop's, Dun Dr. Dunlop's team um, everything that she could um, about the administration of the system in his office. Um, it's been jam-packed. Um, I've been to a lot of CE similar to this, um, different topics obviously, um, and none have been as full. Um, I think that you look at a CE experience and you think, wow, four days, that's going to be really spread out and maybe the information's not going to be, um, it's not going to fill the whole time. And I think that um, there hasn't been a moment wasted. Um, just the exposure you have, not only to his clinic and his patients, but also the classroom and then being able to go into his lab has been invaluable to kind of tie everything together so that you really can take the experience home and kind of create a copy for yourself. Oh, it's been great. It's kind of, um, we haven't really wanted for anything. We've been comfortable, we've been well-fed, and um, I can't think of anything that was left, left out. I think that anytime you go and you watch another practitioner and what they're doing, you pick up little pearls. And I think that there have been many, many little things, um, whether it's the products that we're gonna start using or the techniques for surgery to, you, you name it. I mean, there've just been so many that, you know, we've got notebook pages full of lots of pearls. There's simply too much information for one person to absorb. Um, considering that there is a lab track and an administrative track and a clinical track, um, I think the bare minimum you could come with would be three. Um, and even then, I think it would be helpful to have as many as are allowed or as many as, as, as you could because um, those people can then kind of be discussing amongst themselves how to implement what they're learning. And I think that that's the, the big hazard in dental continuing education is we can all go and book a hotel room and go off site and learn something but where does it go from there and you have to be able to bring it home and unless you bring a team member there simply isn't the time in most busy practices to explain what you've learned explain the techniques to your team and get it integrated so integration is completely foundational to making you the most out of the continuing education experience and you simply can't do that if you don't bring people with you. We've all been in a classroom situation and watched an instructor or a presenter click through slide after slide after slide and maybe even play video and there's certainly learning that can happen from that but being able to meet the patient, see the experience and participate in the process, you just don't learn any other way. There is, it's night and day different and you can actually see the transformation in your own mind for how you're gonna make these, these techniques work in your practice based on the live patient experience. The commonalities are pretty striking. Pull the trigger. Um, considering the, the depth of knowledge of Dr. Dunlop and the pearls that you can 
glean from his experience, no matter what level you're at in the process. Um, I see myself coming back. I see that I'm probably missed out on some things because my mind was kind of reeling from the things that I was learning. So I think the further along you are, the more experience you might might get from 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 full arch masters. But I think at any level, you'll certainly take home more than it'll be. How would you say it'll it, it'll be um, a value to anyone at pretty much any level.